It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope, that's just the stock market. It keeps going higher. Every single day we are seeing the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P 500 gap up a couple percent. A lot of stocks out there are flat out too expensive. But we're gonna be talking about two stocks in today's video that are not too expensive. These stocks are really good deals. They're both growing fast and they're both in sectors that are experiencing growth. You know what else is a great deal? The money, the free money that Webull and M1 Finance, my two preferred brokers, are offering you guys. M1 Finance, I like to send investors over there who are just looking to invest long term into stocks. They're not really into active trading. However, Webull, I like to send traders over there who are into swing trading, maybe some day trades, and some longer term investing. Both are offering you guys free money, so check out those brokers when you sign up with my link in the description. All right, so let's break down these high growth stocks that are trading on some Black Friday style discounted prices. Let's get it. Before we go over this week's stock, let's recap some of last week's picks. First, we have Fubo. Now, Fubo is one that we bought back here in the private Discord chat. And our thesis on Fubo was that the online TV streaming services are going to see continued growth as more and more cable customers leave traditional cable and flock towards TV streaming. Fubo in the TV streaming space, one of the biggest players in the space today, and they're also getting in the online sports betting space as well. Today they came out news that Fubo is going to be the sole streamer of some of the World Cup qualifying matches. This is huge because the World Cup is big in South Africa, it's big in Europe, and if you want to be able to watch these qualifiers, you're going to have to be a Fubo subscriber. This is going to expose a lot of new people to the Fubo platform, and if they like it, they'll stick around and be reoccurring customers. This is big news. The stock up 20% on the day. I still think it's a really good buy, a value deal at these levels. The first stock of this week's video is going to be Jumia. J-M-I-A is the ticker. This is the Amazon of Africa. I know a lot of you guys are thinking to yourself, Africa, it's a poverty-stricken continent with a lot of war-torn countries that are experiencing civil war and there's not a lot of money to go around. So how can an e-commerce platform do good in a place like Africa? But here's the deal. Africa does have some very wealthy countries such as Egypt and South Africa. Jumia is the e-com leader in all of these wealthy countries and they have room for growth because these underdeveloped countries that are poverty stricken, they are gonna become more wealthy, they're gonna have more internet access, and they're gonna need an e-com platform, and Jumia is gonna be there to fill that void. We made this monster move from the $10 range all the way up to $70 a share. And I was watching it throughout this move, wanting to buy, but I wasn't going to chase and I never got the opportunity to buy the dip. But now we have a pretty significant sell-off and it's trading at a really cheap deal right now. You can literally buy anything on Jumia's platform compared to Amazon, compared to eBay. It is the biggest e-com store in Africa. You could buy a smartphone, you could buy shoes, groceries, pay your cell phone bill, pay your utility bills, and even order food. They have 6.1 million active consumers using the platform today. They are across 11 countries in Africa and more than 600 million people in those countries. And this accounts for 70% of Africa's GDP. That is a huge number. The countries that Jumia are in are the wealthiest countries in Africa. So investors that have shied away from Jumia because it's located in Africa, a continent with some poor countries, they are wrong because Jumia is exploiting or attacking the countries in Africa that are wealthy. And as the poorer countries get out of third world status, Jumia will be there to add them to their list of consumers. Here are some staggering statistics. 78% of online shoppers 
bought on Jumia over the last 12 months. 88% of Jumia's shoppers over the last 12 months said they would repurchase on Jumia over the same period. This is big. That's reoccurring customers. They're coming back. They've tried Jumia. They liked it and they're using it again. 89% of Jumia shoppers would recommend it to a friend. So word of mouth is going to help bring more consumers to Jumia. All right, back here on the chart and let's take a look at it. It's looking really nice here from a technical analysis standpoint. We got the 200 EMA, that gray line, and you guys know I love to buy right in front of that 200 EMA. It's a great place to buy. This move here, from today's price to these recent highs, that is almost a 100% move. It doesn't look like that big of a move, but that is a monster move. And I think Jumia fills that void in the coming months. It is too cheap at today's prices. I think it fills this up. And by the end of the year, we're trading at new highs. We have a $75 price target here on Jumia. Before we move on to the next stock, leave a comment down below and tell me what your top stock that you're watching right now is. I'm always interested in and seeing what you guys are watching. I got the hiccups, I'm sorry. They're a pain in the ass. But yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know what stocks that you guys, your top stock, don't leave like five or six down there. I just want your top stock and I'll take a look at them and maybe include one of them in my next video. The next stock is another one that's got absolutely demolished. It's been beaten down and it's too cheap. We're talking about a company that is also experiencing fast growth and it's in a sector that is growing as well. A rising tide lifts all boats. We're talking about SKLZ Skills. Skills is an online gaming both developer and they pass on their games to the end user, the consumer. We made this huge breakout. We were trading in this range for like six months or so from $10 to $14. And once we finally broke out of that range, we went from 10 all the way up to $46 per share. People say all oh, technical analysis doesn't work. Show them a chart like this and I will call them a liar to their face. You had this breakout and once it bro broke out, it was off to the moon. However, we have since sold off pretty drastically and today we're trading at $17 a share. A move back to these recent highs would be a couple hundred percent move and I think that's in store here with this skill stock. All right, so Skills is both a place for developers to go and build games, and it's also a place for people who want to play games to go pay for these games and play play them. So Skills is basically an all-inclusive mobile game site. People, once they find Skills, they're using it. They're using it more from a minute per day perspective than TikTok, than YouTube, than Candy Crush, Facebook, and Snapchat average user is spending six, 60 minutes per day using skills platform. That is a massive number. Engagement is very important because it shows if your consumers actually enjoy spending time on your product. And with these statistics, skills have, has figured out a way to keep users using the platform. So once they enhance their marketing, they're putting ads up, ads on the platform, the more time users spend on the platform, that's more revenue that Skills is bringing in. In 2020, they experienced monster revenue growth, $230 million in revenue, which owes almost a 100% increase year over year. And here's the most important number that I've seen so far, a 95% gross margin. Those margin numbers are straight stupid. Nine, five percent gross margin that is incredible gaming is quickly becoming the biggest source of entertainment in the entire world that's right so you have movies the growth is declining not only is it growing not growing it's dying movies are slowing down that is that is evident by how Hollywood is slowing down and movie theaters are shuttering. We have music, which is also dying as well. Books, books still growing, but slowly people are getting back into books, but gaming absolutely blasting off. 14% for traditional games and mobile games growing 
3% year over year. Television, it's still growing. It's the biggest media form, but gaming is quickly catching up. Back on the daily chart here, let's take a look at it, talk about my price target and the plan. So we're, we've sold off a lot. This thing is too cheap at $17. If we can just get back to these recent highs, which I do think this happens over the next 24 months or so, you're talking about a couple hundred per percent. So we have a price target of those recent highs, those all-time highs. It's going to be $45 price target. That is a big move, but we think it's undervalued at these prices and expect it to start bouncing back here shortly because the projected revenue growth is just too high for it to be trading at these prices. All right, guys, that's going to wrap the video up. If you got something of value from it, do me a favor and hit that like button. Still coming at you with daily videos, even though I got a killer case of the hiccups. They absolutely suck. All right, so hit that like button. If you want your free money, check out the link for M1 Finance or Weeble in the description. They're great brokers. They're giving you guys free money. Check them out. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. It's not a game. It's a